Good morning, girls. This is S. Juliet Chalamal, Assistant Professor and Department of Commerce, Axelia Martin Science College, Raghunathapuram. We are discussing about company law for second BCom. Company law introduction. A company in common parlance means a group of persons associated together for the attainment of a common end, social or economic. It has no strictly technical or legal meaning. According to section 3, subsection 1 and 2 of the Companies Act 1956, a company means a company formed and registered under the Companies Act 1956 or any of the preceding acts. Thus, a company comes into the extents only by the registration under the act, which can be termed as incorporation. Then, Definition of company law. Section 2, subsection 20. A company means a company which is incorporated under this act or under any previous company's act. A company is an association of many persons who contributed money or monies worth to the common stock and employ it in some trade or business and who shares profit and loss arising therefrom. Meaning of a company. The term company means an association of the group of persons who have come together for a common purpose that is to do business and earn profit. Then joint stock company. Definition of joint stock company. Company means a company formed and registered under this act or exiting company, Companies Act 1994. A joint stock company is an association of many persons who contribute money or money is worth to the common stock and employ it for the common purpose. A joint stock company is a new venture in big business area. After industrial revolution, there must be changed in the production system. Features of joint stock company First one is corporate personality, second one is joint capital, share capital, transferability of shares and fifth one is limited liability, statutory responsibility, seventh one is number of shareholders, eighth one is independent nature of management, ninth one is democratic norms, tenth one is profit distribution, eleventh one is tax payment and twelfth last one is dissolution. Then we are discussing about characteristics of a joint stock company. First one is artificial legal person. Second one is separate legal entity. Third one is perpetual suggestion. Fourth one is limited liability. Fifth one is common seal. Sixth one is transferability of shares. And last one is separation of ownership and management. Then we are discussing about types of joint stock company. There are five types we have. First one is charter 